Hello, today I will show you a convenient way of tweaking, editing your scripts while your game is running and I will show you a very cool shortcut that will save you lots of time. So, did you know that when you run your game you can edit anything while it's running? What does it mean? It means that when I go for example to player or for example to enemy, I can be like, hey, I want to see how the game will work when we change here the speed from 100 to 50. The problem with it is that our game is minimized each time when I hit here, right? And to be honest, it's hard to spot the difference sometimes. But you can set this window on top. How do we do that? When we use the shortcut Control Windows Plus, T, as you can see, we have red highlight around and now what can we do? Well, we can do something like, hey, let's set the speed to 50. As you can see, they are slower now, right? These guys. Hmm, maybe let's change it to 10. Look how slow they are. So we can like tweak parameters of our game and see which values are like good for our game. Before that, you would need to, you know, close your game each time, change it, and it's hard to even remember in your memory which version was better, right? Here, you can clearly see that they are too slow, right? For example. So, this is very powerful, but this is not the end of this lecture, because I want to also show you something very special, which is, as you can see here, you have something what is called remote. And here you can see your current state of game. What does it mean? It means that when I, for example, hit game over, which is the screen that we see here, and we auto loaded in, in the project settings. So we did something like, as you can see, we did it like that. It is global variable. Notice that we have visibility here on. When I reset button, as you can see, it changed to off. So we can clearly see what is happening in our game. We can go into game node and we can see that we have more and more of character body to this. So the enemies that are, go are respawning and they want to kill us, right? So we can see like live what is going on in our game. But remember, whatever you change here is not gonna stay with your game. This is just for the sake of debugging to see how your game um, is like adding things. If it, is it in the proper node or maybe you want to like spot the changes on living organism, right? Then this is the place, right? But whatever you change here, it's not going to be forever, right? So when I go, for example, to our player, right? And here is camera. So if I do something like, hey, let's change the zoom to like, let's zoom in. Uh, as you can see, even when I reset my game, it's, uh, it's, it's going back, right? So I can do it again. Oh. It's different now, just now. So I, I didn't have time to even do that, right? But if you change it locally, right? In the local place here, this is gonna be changed uh, for each run. So remember, that's the, there is a big difference here. And also, if you don't like to use the Windows shortcut, you can go to the project, project settings, and to general and type here always window. And then the default behavior is going to be always on top. So now, as you can see, when I am here, I, I can, okay, I want to move faster. Let's see how it's going to look like. Oh, ho, ho, I am so fast now, right? You can edit and see the changes. Uh, uh, on live but if for example you wanted to go back to not have it on always on top you can use the windows shortcut control windows plus t and it's gonna change right pretty cool right and you can go back if you want if you want to have it again so it really depends on your preferences if you want to start from having got top or not I love it for debugging and it makes my life really as a game developer easier. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.